Hello everyone, in this tutorial we explain how to disable Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft Office. So here is the source of the problem. Copilot is integrated into Microsoft Office with one of the recent updates, probably in December or January. The solution. Until a better option is found, the solution is to uninstall the recent update and to revert Microsoft Office to an older version that does not integrate Copilot. On the basis of the critical feedback from the users about integrating Copilot in Microsoft Office, Microsoft will most likely provide an option to easily disable Copilot. Currently, such an option does not exist, except for Word. But who knows, maybe this will never happen, since maybe the agenda is to stimulate people to use AI tools. Here is a very important notice. In this tutorial, we will use the command line and the command line tools to downgrade the Microsoft Office version. On both of our computers, we were able to successfully downgrade the Microsoft Office version and everything works fine. That is, Word works fine, PowerPoint and Excel are working perfectly. However, if you decide to follow the approach presented in this tutorial, we do not take any legal or financial responsibility if after downgrading the Microsoft Office version or if you do not properly implement the commands, you cannot start Microsoft Office anymore or any of the programs in the Microsoft Office package. Again, if you properly implement everything, most likely you will not have, it, have any issues. Okay, let's start with explanation. First of all, if you open PowerPoint, you will see the Copilot button over here. Then, if you open Word, you will see the same button over here. And every time you try to write something, this window will pop up. Okay, if you have the newest version of Word, you can actually easily remove Copilot. However, this only applies to Word. To do that, you simply need to click on File, then you need to click on Options, then over here have a Copilot option and you can disable it. And if you press OK, this button will be disabled. However, this only works for Word and it doesn't work for PowerPoint or some other Microsoft programs. Consequently, I will explain how to downgrade the Microsoft Office version. So I will just turn it back just for reference. And over here, I will keep it on. Okay, if you just need to remove it from board, then you're all set. You can just follow the approach I just explained. However, if you go, want to go a step further, then continue watching this video tutorial. Okay, let's start. Click here on File, then click on Account, then Expand Update Options and click on View Updates. And you will be directed to this web page. This web page will show you all the updates. The updates are actually listed over here. Now, most likely somewhere in January or in December, the Copilot is being integrated together with the new update. So scroll all the way down and find, for example, a version in September or October. I discovered the September version works perfectly. So click over here and then you will be directed to this section over here. This is the update from September 23rd. It's very important to memorize this number. So copy and paste this number. And we will use this number to downgrade Microsoft Office to this version over here. So how to do that? Well, the procedure is relatively easy. First of all, click here, then search for command prompt by just typing command prompt, then do the right click and click on run as administrator. This will give you administrator right such that you can update new software. Now, over here, you need to go to the appropriate folder and here's the folder. You need to write this command over here, then press enter. And then in this folder, you need to run this file with these options. And over here, you need to adjust these X's and Y's and you need to enter the correct version. So what this program will do, it's going to install the actual update. That is the update specified by these numbers. 
that is you will go to the update web page then you're going to simply copy these numbers and then let me go here I'm going to paste them here and the command should look like this then copy this go here and execute this command now I still didn't press enter this is mainly because I'm currently recording this video by using PowerPoint and if I press this command that is if I run this file what will happen is that PowerPoint will most likely close and the system will be updated. Consequently make sure that you save everything you're doing in Word or PowerPoint or in any Microsoft Office software, uh, any Microsoft Office program that is currently active. Here I will run this command and let's see what happens. Over here you can see that Microsoft is being updated and that's it. Currently we are installing the appropriate version of Microsoft Office, that is we are downgrading the version of Microsoft Office to September 23rd. Of course you might also try some other option, for example September 25 or even October or maybe November. I'm not sure when did Microsoft actually integrate Copilot, maybe in December or January. So let's see what's happening over here. It will take some time for the updates to be downgraded. However, be patient over here. And then after some time, this window will pop up, save your work before continuing. This means that we need to close the following apps before we can continue. So do that. Next, you need to restart your computer. That is, don't start Word or PowerPoint immediately after the version is downgraded restart your computer then after you restarted the computer and you started Word or Microsoft PowerPoint again you will see that Copilot is eliminated if the button is still there do the following click on file click on account then click on manage setting and over here disable this option this option will actually make your typing more private and I suggest to everyone to do that. So turn off this and click OK. However, it will, you will have to restart your PowerPoint after doing this. Now let's start Word again and let's verify that everything works as expected. So let's click here, let's start Word. Here it is, blank document, no copilot. Let's verify few additional things. First of all, let's click on file, let's click on account, and over here let's make sure that the version is correct. So it's 296. So let's click here and let's see click let's see all the updates. Our update was September 23rd. It's actually this number over here and this number perfectly matches the number given over here. This means that we have properly downgraded Microsoft Office. Now again, my suggestion to everyone is to turn off this option. So click on account, manage setting and turn off this. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.